Hello and welcome again to our new tech solution. If you are having trouble with uh, Logitech G Hub is not installing, then we are going to show you some steps to solve it. You know Logitech G Hub is a cutting edge software to customize and control Logitech devices such as keyboards, mice, headphones and so forth. But sometimes it fails to install on Windows 10 system which is more likely fixable. So let's get started then. So first of all, you can try ending the process by task manager. To do that, press Ctrl Shift Escape button all together to open the task manager and then locate the GHub application, right click on it and then end task. After that, switch to startup tab and here find the Logitech GHub gaming or whatever it shows disable it if it needs after that try installing the application again and hopefully that will solve your problem if that doesn't solve your problem you can try another solution which is running the executable file as administrator first of all locate the file in my case it is in the downloads folder right click on it and under that you will find run as administrator click on it and through the process try to install the application and hopefully it will be installed in our next method which is allowing the firewall access to the application sometimes Windows Defender detects any application as a malware threat or Trojan horses and stops it from install installing it so to allow the access, first of all, go to the search bar, type control panel, then go to system and security, then in the Windows Defender Firewall, you will find allow an app through Windows Firewall. Click on it and you will find the change settings. You have to click on that. After that, locate the Logitech G Hub application and then on the both checkbox private and public mark it and after that click OK and then try to restart your computer and then try to install the file again hopefully this will solve your problem and you won't have any issues installing the Logitech G Hub application last but not least you can try updating the Windows to a latest version to solve this problem it's just easiest method out there just go to the Windows Update if there is any Windows Update available update it to the latest version and hopefully it will update all the process all the system process for for the application to install after that restart your computer and then try to install the application and hopefully it will solve your problem so that's all for today and see you in our next video. Bye.